Well, hey, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgo, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We are going to do future, current, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to be past uh current and future okay so that's what we're going to do so we're going to go ahead and get into the reading see what we have for you guys today this is for virgo it's coming out whatever the past was okay <laughs> all right the bottom of the deck i have the queen of cups you guys were in love you could still be in love just off of this card, I'm just going to let you know I still feel that the past is still sitting in the current a little bit. You guys already know. I can always tell, but we'll see. Ooh, do we have a match? So you and someone both were in love. Someone isn't opening up here, Virgo. Someone who loves you. Oh, you guys definitely have the same feelings. Mm-hmm. So, I do feel like you feel conned. I do. I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys got into a connection or you connected with someone. You, you, you start having very strong feelings for them. But then all of a sudden, they start to act a little wishy-washy, okay? The magician is letting me know that um, you guys are kind of suffering from self-confidence now it now let me just say this if this isn't you i feel like this could be your person someone is at this moment um i feel like that may have been a problem in the past i also feel like someone that you were dealing with had a whole lot of different people i mean that's just what it was that's just what it is i feel like they were dealing with a whole lot of people you you knew nothing about it okay um yeah that's what i'm seeing in the past so let's focus on the current but you guys have, you guys both love each other. You, you both have the same feelings. Like you're not saying anything right now. Or even if you guys, let's say you're in a connection right now and this person just seems very tight lipped. Like they feel what you feel. They're just not the type of person to open up about it. Let's get it. This is for Virgo's current. Oh, Virgo. You guys are waiting. It's like your it's almost like your person is waiting for you to contact them or waiting for you. You could be waiting for them. Yeah, I feel like right now, oh, I hate that that card came out cuz I heard it. I feel like right now what has been must be let go for a while. Yeah, when it comes down to this person because they were too resistant. I don't think that this person I don't think I, at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon here. I don't think that this person, um, I don't think that this person wanted to be in a committed relationship. I feel non-committal energy here. Yeah. And they're dealing with a whole lot of different people or there's somebody in their life, but they don't mind dealing with other people. But I do see that like, um, you know, also part of the problem was that, you know, I don't really think that they were giving to the connection either. Not as much as you wanted them to. Um, it was some issues here. But I mean, I see this person being a little conceited, like, you know, they, they kind of love the attention that they get from people. Uh, but you, I feel like it could be you or your person or both of you guys are still kind of waiting for someone to call or come by your house or something like that is what I'm saying. But right now, I feel like the reason why there's waiting is because this person is still trying to make up their mind if they want to be with you or if it's something else that they're wanting. But I still feel that this person is not committal. What you know, you guys had strong emotion from this person for this person. You see it with the moon, you see it with the queen of cups, and I feel like they do too. But it, it didn't work out, okay? Um, and I think that kind of shocked you because you're like, wait, we were just good match. What happened? Now let's get the future for. Virgo. I knew I was going to get more from the current. I didn't get that much from the past, but <laughs> woof. Okay. I mean, this is the future. So I have the devil at the, at the bottom. Oh boy. Okay. Well. All right. I do feel that there's still a very strong flame, still a flame roaring for each other here. Now, I do believe that there is going to be communication because we have it here with the Page of Cups now. And you're going to be very anxious about it, very excited, excitable. I feel like they're going to be very excitable. However, um, 
and there's still some delay. This person may have to sacrifice or you may have to sacrifice something. I'm not sure. They could be, be with someone. But part of the hangman is a sacrificial card. Maybe it's sacrificing their lifestyle for you or maybe you're sacrificing you know, your life for them. You know, it could be moving or something. But the Eight of Pentacles is trying to get this person grounded and focused and wanting to be with you. But if you really have to do all of that, mm, okay, like I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Ain't Listen, either you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. That's how I feel. Um, and, you know, I feel like this person, even with this devil card, there is this feeling of love that they still have for you and you have for them. But I think that, there, and I feel like eventually they'll come in, but I feel like there's it's going to take a while for this person to really want to commit. I think that somebody is in denial of this with, this with the Seven of Cups. This person definitely, like I said, is in love with you, okay? But there is some, um, there is some, empty, like an like a, a empty hole. Like this person's soul is like the black hole of the universe. Like they can just accept and, and take and take and take and they still feel unfulfilled. That's what I'm seeing when it comes down to this person. You know, maybe, you know, there's this pause before the next stage when it comes down to commitment. You know, maybe they're trying to figure that out. Maybe this is the pause. Maybe this is what they're trying to figure out. But for right now, I really do feel like you're you're just trying to cut stuff away. You're not trying to think about it. Um, but I do feel like some of you, because this person isn't in your life, you know, you're kind of like, what is life without love? And it is. It doesn't have to be with this person, though. Okay. <laughs> it's just like love is everything, but it doesn't have to be with them. So what I want to do is go ahead and look at your current. We're going to clarify your current and your future. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with the Six of Pentacles. And this is for, for Virgo. Six of Pentacles for Virgo. Oh, look at this. I got the Hierophant. Oh, man. So I do see that your person is going to come back in here with the with the um, judgment card. Now, I, like I said, because of this double, I feel like there's still going to be funny behavior. And I think I told you this yesterday, Virgo, in your second reading. Um, you guys haven't been talking, so I do see that this person is going to be coming in here. Um, and because, and this is your past person, okay? I feel like it's definitely other people vying for their attention. And I, I, they're, they're thinking about you. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I feel like they're open to new possibilities. Maybe, and this is you. I feel like you're even open to new possibilities. But there, that was a very strong feast, a lot of strong emotions for someone in the past. Okay, you're open to new possibilities though, which is really good, Virgo. But this person is going to come back in here. However, I feel like it's going to be a little funny, Duddy. Okay, I'm just telling you. Okay. Because they'll come in, you're going to get very excited. You guys are going to get very excited. But then things, will, it'll take a while before you really know what this connection is really about. Let's go ahead. Let's get that world card. I'm just telling you. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're definitely trying to move on. <laughs> okay, like eventually you will. Like if this doesn't work, whether they come in here or not, you will. Like the, the, the memories of them and, and who they are, it's just going to be a thing in the past because I really do feel like um, there's going to be other people who's going to catch your attention. And I've been saying this for a while. Let's get the strength card. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, th this person totally don't want to be thinking about a committed relationship. This, this is the type of person that will be in a relationship, but still acting free. Like they're never really committal. Like they're never really committal. And I also feel that like there's some enabling going on. Like people enable this person because this person has codependency issues. So there has to be people around us in, enabling this behavior. Okay. But let's go ahead. Let's get the page of cups. And this, I mean, they can do whatever they want. Um, remember, we all have a have one life. Not well, we have a life to live. Okay, yeah, I, I really do see that they're hoping to talk to you. You're hoping to talk to them. Um, and again, for some of you, this is what you've been waiting for. Um, but one thing about this empress, it's like, yeah, we can talk because this is a page. We can talk, but if it's if you're going to be on that nonsense, I might as well not. That's how you're going to feel. And again, the Empress knows her her worth. And I love the fact that, you know, 
the strength card on top of it was the five of wands. And it's like, this is your personal power. You're going to have other people wanting you too, Virgo. Let's get the hangman. It's a lot of hangman energy here. So I do feel delay. I do feel waiting a lot. Yeah, look at this. Don't hold on to this pain, Virgo. You're dealing with someone to me, I feel like is very superficial. There is going to be a new love that's going to come in here. I just feel like it's a lot of inconsistency. This person is very in inconsistent, and I just don't think that they can trust themselves. I've said this plenty of times, and but I do feel that they regret for hurting you, or it is some type of emotional breakup. Even if you guys were just dating for a little bit, it's it's emotional. It's, 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 it's pain. Let's get the Eight of Pentacles. But this is going to be a time for you to focus on yourself. Yeah, focus on yourself because you've been extremely emotional here. Definitely. But you're going to end up, I'm telling you, you're going to meet someone new. And I feel like this person, you can, I feel like you'll meet this person around your home. Um, yeah, there is going to be coming together with someone new for a lot of you. Because I just feel like... I feel like the person that you're dealing with is too cold. They're too standoffish. It's, it's a lot of controlling behavior here. They want to control how they feel and what they express, that type of thing. Um, That's what I'm saying here. So Virgo, this is your reading. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Guys, please join the membership, okay? The join button is right up under the like button. Next week, there's going to be new exclusive content only in the membership, okay? You guys may get a clip of it um, on YouTube. And also uh, tomorrow, I am doing free live readings. And like I said, some of you guys have signed up, but you guys haven't been to the live readings. And it'll be really, really quick, okay? Because assists know how to read, okay? But anyway, um, I will see you guys later. Virgo, I love you. Have a good one.